everyone. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Disney timings, things to do and when you can do them before your Disney World holiday. Please don't think that any of this is patronising. Some of it may be entirely obvious. So once you've booked your holiday, the first thing you need to do is get your travel insurance. Disney holidays are expensive, so it's best to be covered for it. The next thing you can do is log on to your Disney account on the Disney website and get the colour of your fast pass wristband. You'll have to wear that the whole time, especially if you're staying in one of the resorts because it's your room key. And so you want it to look pretty, you want it to match your outfits, you don't want boring grey. You can also get them personalised with your name. And you use them to pay for stuff, so it's easy to have on your wrist, but you need a nice colour. The next thing is booking your table service restaurant meals. You can do this 180 days before your holiday, so almost six months. If you're staying in a Disney resort, then 180 days before your booking, you can book up to 10 days of your holiday. If your holiday is longer than 10 days, you'll have to wait another 10 days, so 170 days before your holiday, before you can book the final lot. If you're not staying in a resort, then obviously you can only book each day 180 days before you want to eat at that restaurant. If you haven't booked your table service 180 days before, don't despair. A lot of restaurants still have a lot of availability and even when I was on holiday I was able to book some restaurants last minute and still have a booking. If you can't get a booking on the day that you want, try 45 days before your holiday because that's when a lot of people have to pay their final deposit or final amount for their holiday and apparently a lot of people cancel and then they cancel their table services as well. So. 45 days is a good mark to try and get a reservation if you haven't been able to get one before then. Also not booking during peak time, so 12 to 2 or 6 from 8. So you can always turn up at the day and go to the podium and hope that there are no shows. Apparently if it's raining a lot of people just drop out. Also 180 days before you can book recreation activities. This includes fireworks show, so the Contemporary has a pirate firework special, horse-drawn carriages, speciality cruises and parasailing and water skiing at the Contemporary as well. 60 days before your holiday, so roughly two months, you can check into your hotel and this is a really good idea because they let you have two requests. Depending on which hotel you're staying at will depend on the request but usually you can ask for whatever floor you want to be on, top, middle, ground, if you want to have an elevator, if you want to have a corner room, it's just a chance for you to request certain things and usually they honour at least one of your requests, if not both. I always think looking at TripAdvisor is a good way to see what kind of hotel room you like, so when you're checking in, just have a quick look at TripAdvisor and usually people give some good tips. If you check into your hotel 60 days before, then if you live in the States, you get sent your room key, which is your wristband, which is why it's important to have chosen your colour. And then when you arrive, you can literally just find out what room number you're in and go. For people that don't live in the US, such as myself, I checked in online and when I arrived, they had my wristbands and my package waiting for me. They just marked on the map where I was going, gave me all my stuff and I was on my way. So it was the quickest check-in I've ever done in my life. The next thing you can do is you can book your fast passes 60 days in advance if you're staying in a Disney resort or 30 days in advance if you just have a ticket and you're not staying on site. You can book three fast passes a day. You have to book them each day that you're going, so 60 days before you're doing one lot of fast passes and then the next day you'll have to do your next three and so on and so forth. Again, fast passes between the 60 days before your holiday and the 30 days before, your, before you go to the theme park isn't a lot of difference, so if you're on the 30 day time scale, don't worry, all the rides will still be there, it just sometimes may not be available, but on the whole you'll be fine, so don't panic, but do book them in before your holiday. A lot of them will still be available on the day, but it's the bigger rides like Aerosmith or Tower of Terror or the Seven Dwarfs, Spine Train, Space Mountain, those sorts of things are the ones that go. And the last thing you need to do before your Disney holiday is if you're flying, you need to check into your flight and that's it. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Any questions, let me know and I'll see you soon.